hello everyone how you are doing today's tutorial is how to cut this beautiful cow dress now we are going to be starting with the shoulder measurements shoulder of 16 divided by 2 that's 8 then the neck width for this tutorial is 3 by 3 for the depth is 3 now we will just be cutting the basic block so that by the time we are done we can now modify the neckline and also work on the cow neck now the shoulder slant for this tutorial is 1 inch so you connect it to the to the neck width yeah so i'm just connecting the depth together now the next thing we'll be doing is to get our armhole depth so your armhole depth is what you are going to put there so that is what i put there now i'm using for this tutorial i use eight inches for the armhole depth now i'm just ruling the straight line then from there, I mark the breast points, the waist. There's there's no need for any under bust for this measurement because it's just the dress. Then from the waist, I went down by 8.5 to get our hip depth. Yeah, so that's me just trying to get a, a, another line so that I can get a straight line when I'm rolling. Now, guys, so after doing this. The next thing is to now input the shoulder measurements on the chest line. So you will now roll the line. So after that, we are going to get the middle. You divide what you have there by 2. After dividing by 2, I went in by 0 0.75. That is what I want to use to shape the armhole. Now on the chest line, on the chest line, I input my bust measurement divided by 4. So I'm just connecting them like that. After that, on the waistline, the waist measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch sewing so allowance. Then on the hip, after getting the waist measurement, yeah, then the hip uh, measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch sewing allowance now what i have on the hip is what i'm going to use on the full length of the dress now the paper is not long enough so when i'm cutting on the fabric i'll be extending the length now i'm just trying to shape the hip using my hip curve ruler then also rolling the down part so guys we are done drafting the front so now I'll be drafting the back now before coming back to the front. Now <clears throat> I just took a fresh paper and I placed the front on it. So before that, I'm going to be cutting the front excess paper that I don't need from the armhole to the down part. Then just trying to place the paper on it, align it very well. After that, I'm going to indicate all the all the lines, the waist, the hip, the armhole on the other side also, so that I can get my lines later. Now, from the chest line, if you want to cut the back, you can decide to cut it straight off like that, or you come down from the chest line by 1.5. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm coming down from the chest line by 1.5 inches. Yeah so that when i roll it it can be slanted instead of me having a straight back so i'm just shaping the back also so after that i now remove the front then take the, our ruler curve ruler you can use your free hand and just connect it to the 1.5 now i will now cut off cut that part off because i don't need it for the back So guys, now we are done drafting the back. It is easy. Now, in order to avoid any back gaping, I went, I marked four inches. Eh? From that four inches, I folded 0 0.25 in like that, so that our back will be very tight. There will not be any gaping. Yeah, so I'm just using the tip to just secure it down like that. So that is that about the back. So I'm going to drop the back and take the front. Now, this part now is now the cow 
parts that we are going to work on so from this chest line i'll be going up by 1.5 1.5 then i'm going to roll the line so after rolling i'll be cutting it off just watch the way i'm doing guys now so after cutting that part off now on the chest line itself we'll now be doing what we call splash and spread method so you're going to splash it you cut it to the armhole yeah to that end but don't cut it through just cut it like that then you now take another paper so after taking a fresh paper I place it under and I just use my tape to secure it down now the space in between that spread is 4 inches I went up by 4 inches then I now use my tape to just secure it down so I'm rolling this straight line upward because we have excess paper there and our center front is straight now so on that 4 inches spread I went up, I'm trying to connect the line there, yeah because that is where our front facing is going to start from, I hope you understand. So after that I'm going to be folding it inside, yeah that is our front facing, now this, this armhole I'm just extending the armhole up. Now when you are cutting on your fabric, kindly add half inch to your armhole, yeah but I did not add mine. Now from the center, from the chest line rather, you go down by 3.5 inches. On the handle side to the chest line, go down by 3.5 inches. Then you will now connect it together. That is where your front facing stops. So I'm just cutting off the paper that I don't need. After that, I'm just going to trim the armhole now. I'm trimming off the armhole. the armhole side and the center front yeah just trimming off that excess paper the, we are done cutting our cow neck look at the back yeah look at the armor the lining for the cow neck is being cut together so when you open it is like this you can see it is easy simple as ABC so guys this is the front and the back Now the next thing we'll be doing is to cut it on our fabric. So now this is the fabric I'll be using. This is a Duchess fabric. This is Duchess satin. Yeah, and this is the matching thread for it. So let us cut. So guys, this is how I fold the fabric. I fold it in a bias form. I did not fold it straight. Yeah, I fold it in a bias form. Now after folding, I'm just trying to place my pattern paper on it. Now I told you that I'll be extending the length because this paper is too short for my clients. So that is the excess length that I need there. Now I'm just measuring what I have on the hip. I'm measuring the same thing at the down part there. So I'm just trying to connect the lines together so I can have a straight cut so after that next thing else I'll be cutting it off so I'm just cutting 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 so on the armhole there like I said when you were cutting you can add half inch there for joining so after cutting this is what we have now from that middle line that line will be, be ruled you know that's that upper part is the lining so just notch it so that when you fold it you can know where your lining starts from so the next thing is we'll be cutting the back too on the fabric so this is the fabric i've also folded the material in a bias form now I am going to be the same thing I did for the front is what I am doing for the back. So now I am cutting. So guys, after cutting it off, so we will now take the front and the back and place them together. 
so that you see that we have the same length now this is the front and the back so let's work on the front now you know our remember our notch that is where you are going to fold from so where you fold that is now the lining so this is how the cow is going to be by the time you finish sewing now i'm taking the back lining i'm going to cut a facing for the back separately now so i took my pieces that i have and now fold it into two because our back is folded into two it's cut on fold yeah so you make sure everything there aligns very well then you will now cut off the exact shape that you have for the back so you remove your main fabric then i i use two inches for the back lining so i'm just measuring the two inches like that then i'm cutting it off so that is our back facing the facing for our back now to get our strap guys remember our pattern I did not stray away the paper so from the slanted part there I measure what I have left for the front and the back so I'll just plus them together so what I have in total for our strap is 14.5 inches so I'll be adding half inch for sewing that is 15 so I'm just trying to cut off the strap the number that I need I cut I cut excess strap so that when I cut off what I want I will have my main strap so now you'll be sewing with 0 0.5 or depending on how wide you want your strap to be so after sewing guys I'm just trying to trim off the excess that I don't need so that is me just using my scissors to cut it off so guys after cutting now I took my broom you know when you are sewing your strap you sew the end first yeah so from that place you just take your broom and you try and push it in so from there after you start pushing it in because i don't have a loop toner so i use broom and it's working for me so i'm just trying to push it in like that it is very very easy it's not difficult no matter how tiny the strap is you can turn it with your broom if you have a loop toner it is fine so now i'm just cutting off that place to bring out my broom so i'm going to fold it to the desired length that i want then i'm cutting off the excess that i don't need now i'm going to be dividing it into two because we need two strap yeah so guys that is our strap now i will now take the front so i'll just notch that place properly notch it very well so i'll take my strap and I'll just place it on that place and I'll pin it on that place I notch you pin then you take the second strap and you do the same thing you also pin after pinning you now use your facing yeah the fabric facing to cover it then you'll be sewing the armhole together you sew the armhole together after sewing guys yeah this is what I have I will just I'm just trying to notch the SS strap there then I'm going to be notching the armhole because I will be top stitching it this is me notching so you turn it back then you will now sew on the lining on the lining not on the fabric very close to the middle so i you guys should know how to top stitch yeah so then i now i hem the the lining yeah so guys this is me i have finished top stitching and i have also ironed it you can see it's looking pretty already yeah that is our cow neck and the lining that is how it's going to be when you join it together so now guys the back fabric for you to place your strap i measure four inches from the center front yeah then i now notch that four inches so you now open it up so that is where you're going to place your strap so you take the front material 
you place them right side facing right side now you now try and straighten your strap very well so that it doesn't fold so you place your strap there and you pin it yeah so I did the same thing for the other side straighten your strap where you don't let it fold then you pin so after pinning you now take your back facing yeah so I took the back facing and I also pin them together so that is me pinning guys so after pinning I went ahead and I now sewed with half inch so guys I've now joined the backs lining together and I'm trying to notch after notching I will also be top stitching on the lining top stitching on the lining yeah so that is me top stitching I'm trying to show you where to top stitch then after top stitching I now weave the, the lining so guys after top stitching I weave and I also iron it so I use emmy gum to just hold it down so it's not full of now guys we're now going to be joining the front and the back together so you take the front lining you put in the back like that the way i'm doing like that so you fold it in then you now sew with the allowance you added when when you're drafting so i added one inch allowance so that is what i'm going to be sewing with so the same thing for the other side now we're using the front lining to seal the back so you open the front lining you place the back on it you turn, yeah then you sew with the allowance so i'm going to be sewing now guys after sewing this is what i have you can see yeah so we are done sewing our cow neck so the down i already weave it so i'm going to be turning it the hem and we are done with our dress so guys this is our cow neck if your client wants to wear they can decide to push it in like that or they bring it out like this so it depends on how they want to style it so this is our cow dress it is looking pretty so thank you guys for watching i would want you to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you all in my next video bye